What if tonight you looked up at the sky and saw not our familiar moon, but Titan, glowing orange through a hazy atmosphere, or Ganymede, bigger than Mercury, hanging low and bright? Stay with me till the end, you'll see something most people have never heard about. What if we swapped Earth's moon with the other moons of our solar system? Would tides flood our continents? Would our nights glow brighter, or vanish completely? And could Earth even survive the chaos? Let's find out what happens when Earth plays the ultimate cosmic swap, trading our moon for the solar system's most extreme satellites. Before we start swapping, let's remember why our moon is so important. Our moon keeps Earth steady, literally. Its gravity prevents our planet's tilt from wobbling too much, keeping seasons stable and climate predictable. It also slows Earth's rotation, giving us the 24-hour day we know. And of course, it drives the tides that shape our coastlines and ecosystems. Take it away, or replace it, and you rewrite everything about how Earth moves, breathes, and lives. First up, Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Even bigger than Mercury. If Titan replaced our moon, it would dominate the night sky, appearing twice as wide and glowing orange under its thick, methane-rich atmosphere. But here's the problem. Titan's atmosphere is dense and frigid. Its surface is minus 290 degree Fahrenheit with liquid methane lakes. If brought this close to Earth, sunlight would evaporate its gases, flooding our sky with hydrocarbon haze, maybe even altering our climate. Next, Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon and the biggest in the solar system. It has its own magnetic field, the only moon that does. If it orbited Earth, the night sky would blaze with auroras, twisting across the globe. But its massive gravity would cause monster tides, flooding coastal cities daily. On the plus side, Ganymede's icy crust might bring more water to Earth's system, but life here would have to adapt fast. Now let's talk danger, Jupiter's fiery moon. We're halfway there, and trust me, you're going to love what's coming. Covered in volcanoes that constantly erupt, Io's surface is a churning hellscape. Place it near Earth, and volcanic gases would spew into space, possibly raining sulfur down through our upper atmosphere. Its radiation, 4,000 times stronger than Earth's Van Allen belts, would make life here almost impossible. Next, Europa, the icy moon that might hide an ocean beneath its crust. If it replaced our moon, Earth would have an incredible glowing marble of ice reflecting sunlight brilliantly. The tides might strengthen, but not catastrophically. And if Europa warmed up a little under our sun's heat, its surface ice could melt, briefly forming a second ocean world in our night sky. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, orbits backward around its planet. If it replaced our moon, its retrograde motion would slowly tear it apart over millions of years, forming a glowing ring around Earth, like Saturn's. Beautiful, but deadly. Mars's moons Phobos and Deimos are tiny, only a few miles across. Replace our moon with either and we'd barely notice them. The night sky would be dark, tides would vanish, and Earth's rotation would speed up. Our days might shrink to 20 hours within millennia. But what about Enceladus? This small, icy moon of Saturn shoots geysers of water vapor into space. If it orbited Earth, it could seed our upper atmosphere with ice crystals creating dazzling permanent halos around the planet. So which moon is best? Titan would look amazing. Ganymede would flood our world. Europa might bring us oceans. But none can match our own moon. Perfectly balanced, perfectly placed, and quietly holding our planet steady. Sometimes the most extraordinary moon is the one we already have. 